Well, it's been one week since we witnessed the final drive and the final play that gave BYU the win over Utah on the football field. One minute, nine seconds to drive 75 yards, culminating with Beck to Harleen with no time on the clock. Tonight, we get a unique perspective on that final play from each of the players who were on the field when it happened. Hopefully, we have a fantastic finish in store for you. John Beck takes the snap. John throws, complete to Bryce Mawika at the 35. Got the first down, clock will stop as he falls ahead to the 40. If you come, come into a game like this at the end with one minute left and try and think, we got to go 75 yards in less than a minute. You're never going to make it. Uh, plenty of time, looking, looking, looking. Throw in complete for Harleen 40 and 38 yard line. Drop there. 27.2 to go. Harleen makes the catch. We, we never doubt ourselves. We always knew that we had it in ourselves. Um, but as a team, that we were capable of coming back when it mattered. We were capable of make, making the play when it mattered. And if I could pick one play and one place on earth to make it happen in the game, it would be right here, right now. John takes a three-step drop. BYU holds off rushers. It is caught by K.J. Jacobson at the 13-yard line. First down. We knew that no matter what we did, we we're going to come back somehow, some way. It was about the longest three seconds. I know it was more than that with the clock running out, but it seemed like forever. Watching the film, it definitely seems a whole lot longer than it was. But it was definitely worth it. This is just the last play of the of the game, the one that will go down in, in the history book. On this play, me and Matt Allen, we have kind of like a crossing route. I was gonna go for the post. Matt Allen had the corner, kind of put this safety right here in a bind on uh, if he should take the corner of the post. It's kind of in the middle, running the corner route. And uh, as I went up, wasn't open uh, from, from, from the start. And then also Bryce Mojica here, has the uh, has the bubble to kind of to occupy this backer right here. I was doing a swing route on the bottom side. I think we had a post and something else on the side I was on too. Anyway, none of that really worked anyways. As it pans out, we have that crossing route and kind of everybody was taking areas. And I was like, man, I'm not gonna be able to make a play from there. So I released inside and just got in the end zone and just kind of sat, sat in between guys. Did a pretty good job of defending it and then the big mistake, though, was only by rushing three and giving John time to, to kind of dance around out there. I didn't think that first, the first route was going to be the one that got open. And sure enough, it wasn't. We blocked as long as we could. And I'm back here trying to occupy, you know, the back of the end zone and the rest of the receivers just trying to, you know, have a good relationship with, with one another. John started scrambling. Everyone started scrambling. Uh, me and Matt Allen were down in the bottom corner of the end zone. And John kind of scrambled our way, and then he scrambled the other way. So when he went the other way, me and Matt Allen took off running across the end zone. Oh, I was open for a second. I thought he was going to drill it in there. And as it turns out, I wasn't as open as I thought I was. I kind of made on eye contact with John a couple times, but I could just see that he was looking for something else. When you're out there, you're just thinking about what's going on right there. So everyone's running around trying to get open. And uh, you know, like Coach Mendenhall said, the more time that we had, you know, the better not only did he feel, but I think everybody felt. For the most part, it was just five of us working together until we, we knew the play was over, and I think we did it on that play. And I remember seeing him, uh, number 44, come out and thinking, oh, shoot, we better uh, better get him and Jake, and Sete, I think, got a piece of him. Uh, the, the, the thing was, I remember taking a deep breath before the play happened, and just telling myself, hey, John, we prepared forever for moments like this, and we've been so close for so long, go out there and make it happen. It was kind of like, backyard football, you know, growing up as a kid, you know, using the using the car and the fire hydrant to run your routes. When I was running across, I was just over in that corner. So when I came running across and I saw John turn and throw it back, I was like, who is he throwing it to? Because I was just over there and I came running over here, so I didn't think anyone was over there. I follow him as is everybody else and he chucks the ball up in the air and I'm thinking, where is he throwing this ball? Johnny's over here and they got this guy kind of, you know, watching making sure that he didn't, he didn't throw to the corner of the end zone, with no one really watching him or e even following him. John started scrambling the other side, and so everyone kind of flowed over with him, and I just stayed up back on that side. I knew if John turned around and saw me that, that you know, he has a strong enough arm that he can throw it going this way all the way across the field. This is Bryce right here, who he should, he should have where Johnny was, but instead he follows Bryce. So Bryce takes that guy out of the play, leaving Johnny wide open. One play for it all. This should be the last snap of the football game. Snap to John. 
John back pedals, plenty of time, plenty of time, plenty of time. He's moving to his left, shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. The longer and longer he scrambled, the, more, the better chance shuffling. we have. All kinds of time. Now the heat comes. He's got to run to the right. John and then I saw him just launch the ball. I was blocking, and I heard, I heard the crowd kind of go wild. And that's when I turned around and saw Johnny. John Beck is on the run. He throws behind him. It is caught for the touchdown. Caught for the touchdown. Caught for the touchdown. Johnny Harley got for the score. I mean, that's all I remember. Next day, I knew I wake up and I'm on the bottom of a pile. Everybody's jumping around, and uh, it was pretty nuts. Harley by himself in the end zone. The Cougars win it. I was pretty crazy. I got some bruises on my legs from, from people piling on me. So the greatest game I've ever been able to play in. It was just amazing. Coach Menno said, you know, every game is your best. And uh, I think we played our best game. Minus mistakes, I mean, mistakes are going to happen. But the one thing we did do was we finished.